Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Cracking the Coding Interview, the number one software book recommended for software interviews by top companies in the world. Today we're going to be solving a problem called stream compression. So feel free to pause the video to read through what the problem is asking for. I find the examples more descriptive. So given a string, in this case, something like this, okay, where we have A appears twice, B appears once, C appears five times, A appears three times, blah, blah, blah. We want to we're given this we want to return this which is a compressed version where each character shows up and the number of times the frequency of occurrence shows up next to it so a is twice b is one c is five a is three times but we only want to return this string this second string which i'll call s2 if s2 happens to be shorter in length than s1 that's the only case where we want to return it without further ado let's go ahead and kind of explain how we are going to solve it so first i'm going to create s so Let's use a input. Um, I'm just going to create a random input. Say so we were given two A's. A, A, two A's. Okay, and <laughs> that looks like a nine. So two A's, two B's, let's see, three C's. This is our S, okay? But I'm also going to go ahead and create a second. This is our output, okay? We're going to create a second variable called S comp, which is just a compressed version of S, the output we want to return. We're going to create it on the fly, but first we're going to make it an empty string. Okay, then we're going to initialize two variables. Okay, the first variable is going to be i, and we're going to set it equal to zero. Okay, so we're going to solve this using pointers. Okay, second variable j, we're going to set him equal to i, so j starts off at i. Okay, so let me go ahead and write the indices to each of this. This is index zero, this is index one, index two, three, four, five, six. So there's seven elements in s. Okay, so now iterating, we're going to start off from index zero. So i is going to be here, which is literally what we did. i started at 0, and j also starts at i. j equals i, so j is also here. Okay, I'm going to write them in different colors just so we can see the difference. So in our first iteration of this loop, which is probably going to be a while loop in this case, what are our values of i and j? Just like we said, i equals 0 in the first iteration, j equals i, which is technically 0. Okay, so we're going to ask ourselves this question. Okay, in every iteration, every iteration we go through, we're going to always ask this question. Is S, which is the string of I, equal, equal, is it equal to S of J? Okay, do those two happen to be equal? Obviously, in this first case, I and J are both zero. So definitely, they happen to be equal. Definitely, right? I equals J. So what would we do in the case where they are equal? We just increment J, J plus plus. Just increment by one. So what does this mean? This means J, J is now pointing here. That's why I use the green for J. Okay, J is not pointing at index one, okay? We're gonna go off to the next iteration of our loop since J has gone up. So in this iteration, I is still zero. However, J is now at index one, right? J is index one. We wanna ask the exact same question. Is S of I, does this happen to be equal or equal S of J? Obviously, S of I, which is this guy right here, because I is pointing here. S of J, which is this guy right here, because J is pointing here. They are both A's, so this is a yes. In the case of a yes, again, we just increment J. So what does this mean? This means J is now pointing right here. We can go ahead and get rid of this first point. J is now pointing index 2. Okay, so let's go on with our loop iteration. <coughs> okay, now I still at zero i hasn't moved yet but j is not index two okay ask the same question is s of i equal equal s of j in this case obviously j is now pointing to b but i is pointing to a so they're not equal so this is a no okay this is where we kind of have to get fancy with it okay so now what do we do in the case of a no all we do is simple it's time to append to our s comp so what are we gonna say we're gonna say in this case of a no we're gonna say s comp compressed s is just equal to the previous value of compressed s okay his previous value plus s of i okay currently where i is at plus the string casting of j minus i this is j minus i this is what we do okay so in this case what does that happen to be? S of comp was previously an empty ring, 
plus s of i what is s of i currently s of i is still right here because i is still pointing to a so s of i is a okay now plus str j minus i j is 2 i is 0 2 minus 0 is 2 so this becomes a 2 okay so what do we do after this all we do after this is just set i now equals j okay i becomes equal to j so what does this do essentially this moves setting i equal to j essentially does this it moves both i and j to the index j was on so now index 2 i has moved here and j is still here just like it was okay so now we'll move on to the next iteration of this loop okay in this iteration i equals 2 j equals 2 keep in mind we just said i and j equal in the prior iteration right we asked the exact same question is s of i equal equal s of j okay obviously i and j are equal so s of i has to be equal j so yes what do we do in case of yes increment j so we do so this just means now j is pointing to this guy okay so i'm just gonna rule a line here just so we can keep our solution on one page and now we go on to the next iteration of this loop in this iteration i is still equal to 2 but now j has moved to 3 okay now we ask ourselves the exact same question again we always ask ourselves this question on every iteration is s of i is this current character equal to the character j is pointing to okay in this case yeah they're both b's right as you can see i and j are both b's so this is a yes for us what do we do in the case of a yes okay in the case of a yes we just increment j so all this means is j is no longer pointing at three but he's now jumps to point at four okay so now we're going to go to the next iteration okay so same in this case i hasn't moved yet i is still on two but j however is now on four ask ourselves the same question is this i guy equal to our j guy okay obviously not right because j is pointing to c i is still on b so this is a no so like we did before no is a tricky situation what do we do we define our s comp our compressed s is just equal to our previous compressed s plus s of i plus string j minus i okay so let's solve this in this case our previous s comp is this okay so we just want to add to him string append because this is string so the addition doesn't append so s of i what is s of i s of i is currently b because i is pointing to b so we append a b then next what is string of j minus i j is 4 i is 2 4 minus 2 is 2 okay and then what do we do so kind of like we did here we're gonna have to set i equal j okay so again i'm gonna stop right here but in the next loop, it will be something like this, right? In the next loop, i, obviously, we just set i to equal j, right? So this just means both i and j are going to move to whatever j is on. So j was 4, so i and j are going to move right here. So i is going to be right here, and j is going to be right there too, next i, okay? So this technically means that i equals 4, and j equals 4. And then we keep on doing this till we get to the end of this array. And you'll find out that if we keep on doing this, we're going to have an output like this, C3. And this right here would be our final answer that we're going to return. Without further ado, let's go ahead and put this solution to code. So first, let's go ahead and define our function. So def, let's call this string compression. Okay. And he takes in the string s okay for now we're gonna say pass so now i want to go ahead and write my driver code okay so i'm gonna say s equals okay just like the example two a's two b's three c's okay and i'm gonna go ahead and call this function in the print statement so i just want to print this function okay. so let's go ahead and test it just to make sure everything runs fine so yep, looks like everything runs fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. So first we create our, our output variable, which we, we said we're gonna call as comp for compressed S to an empty variable. Then what are we gonna do next? We're gonna define our I, our I set it to zero, just kind of like exactly like we said right here. Then we're gonna start with our while loop. See, while I 
is less than the length of s just to make sure we never go out of bounds okay then we're going to do what we said here we're going to set j equals i so j is going to be equal i okay then what do we want to do next let's have the second while loop to move j j equals i let's have a second while loop to move j so we're going to see while j is less than length again to make sure we don't go out of bound with j and here's where we're going to do the actual check if s of j equal equal s of i okay if these guys are equal what do we want to do like we said in the example whenever j equal is a yes we just increment j so j plus equals one increment j by one okay so now what if they're not equal in the case where they're not equal this while loop doesn't execute right so what do we want to do we want to append to our output as comp and we just said he's equal to his previous self plus s of i plus okay the string cut catenation the string casting of j minus i okay so and then right right after this kind of like we did here we're going to set i equal j so i becomes equal j okay then in the end remember the problem says the problem asks us to return return s comp which is the output only if the length of s comp if s comp actually happens to be shorter it's less than our input which is s okay when well, the case else if it's not less than that just return s so this looks good i'm gonna go ahead and run this bam a2 b2 let's add d then let's add r r r then t t t okay boom t three times r three times d once bam so let's add one where they are not equal let's just say a let's put in just a and see what happens bam it just returns s it doesn't return a1 <laughs> because a1 is longer than just a which works the way the way it's supposed to so that's it for the video guys i hope it's helpful in showing you how to solve this problem and i'll see you in the next one